Here we go. We're going to break down the three-word phrase, gay furry hackers. Let's start with gay. All right. I love it. Carl, can I tackle this one? Sure. Yeah, you, you can take the softball. You got it. <laughs> gay is a diamond-studded <laughs> rainbow. Gay is when a man and a man... What's the gayest thing I can think of? Love each other very much. Love each other so much that they go shopping for furniture covers together. <laughs> <laughs> a gay would never put a furniture cover on their couch. They would just buy a really nice couch. <laughs> yeah, that's probably. How dare you? Yeah. And they'd get a hypoallergenic dog to go on it. Yes, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that is super gay. <laughs> or when a woman and a woman, you know, go duck hunting together. In their Subaru. <laughs> yeah. With their Great Dane. <laughs> There must have been a convention once in Jackson <laughs> Hall. Every single girl that I saw there that day like looked like Melissa Etheridge. <laughs> Sun bleached skin and freckles, uh -huh. long blonde, straight hair to the shoulders. Uh -huh. I mean, Were they was, also wearing flannel? Yes. And jeans. <laughs> oh yeah. It was a vibe. Yeah. I was I didn't get the memo. I didn't get invited. I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder. <laughs> yeah. Also, Furries. just to be clear, kids, this is us being funny and stereotyping <laughs> for the sake of comedic humor, not yeah. because we do not appreciate and accept and are not allies to the gays. Absolutely. The thing is, I don't believe these hackers are gay or furry. Some of them might be one or the other or right. both, but yeah. I don't think they all are. They're trying to think of the scariest thing uh, for a red state dweller. Right. You know? Well, and honestly, if I told my grandma this story, I think it would freak her out a little. <laughs> they ought to be gay trans. They should th They should throw trans in there. That's a big... Oh, there we go. You know, some people will get... A I'm just trying to think of words these days that are so hot that... Ooh, yeah. People get offended just by you saying them. Mm-hmm. Not yeah. talking about them. Not. It doesn't matter what you have to say. No, you're so right, though. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, anyway, the next word, furry. Can I tackle this one, Mike? You want to tackle furry? I do, actually. Great. Yeah. So furries are a subculture uh, that likes to dress up or at least um, partake as an identity in like fursonas, which are basically uh, humanized animals. They wear you know. fursuits and have fursonas. They don't technically have to wear suits um, and they don't technically have to wear a fursona. You can just identify as a furry if you like wish you were a furry basically but generally yeah, that's yeah because uh yeah, genders don't matter anymore <laughs> yeah yeah and so uh now and so the people that said what's next right uh, are we gonna <laughs> fall in love with cats yeah yep <laughs> but no i actually are we gonna put kitty litters boxes in schools because kids think they're cats and also can i just say from the dawn of having cats as pets, <laughs> there have been kids who at recess will pretend to be cats. I was one of them. I was indeed a cat girl. <laughs> Not uh, in the cool, fun sense, but in the yeah. <laughs> nerdy, didn't have very many friends sense. <laughs> I had one date with a woman once when I was many, many years younger, and um, she was cat-like. Like, she made meows and... Held her paws up like this, and that was way, but this was in the 90s. Wow, she was really ahead of the curve. I, yep. Okay. Yeah. She was like the proto-cat girl. And I, <laughs> maybe I'd be into it now, but back then I was like, this is not, I don't <laughs> want, what do you think? Well, I think it's because. clutching my pearls. I think it's because you don't want to date a cat. Let's just say I wound up with a few claw marks and was done, so. <laughs> <laughs> but back to personas. You, you were saying. <laughs> don't You're going to upset your. Do you want to make you more throat cut? Worth it. <laughs> <laughs> that was the funniest thing I think you've ever said <laughs> the entire time I've known you. We're, it was, it was you? wild, man. I, I've had. Literally wild. Yeah. Although I guess cats are domesticated. <laughs> she wasn't. <laughs> She was an Egyptian Mao. <laughs> oh my gosh. I cannot wait to talk about this in depth later. <laughs> anyway. Um, well, just, I was hoping we could just skip past it. <laughs> but. But I've actually known a few furries and they're all, they've always been great people. I've always really liked them. Uh, the one that I knew did actually have a fursuit and a lot of them. Okay. It takes a lot of craftsmanship to make a fursuit. First off, I don't know if you've ever bought faux fur. It is expensive as hell. Really? It is so pricey. 
It's like 20 bucks a yard, if not more. Well, like the cheap stuff is 20 bucks a yard. The good stuff, like the really good fo- faux fur, you're looking at like up to 40 or 50 bucks a yard. So like any cosplay hobby, uh, mm-hmm. the more money you have, the more you can rock it. Yeah, basically. But man, and on top of that too, you have to be pretty crafty in general because like you're basically building a three-dimensional Disney character. You can't get this from Fursuits R Us or... I mean, you you actually can buy custom fursuits online. Asking for a friend. (laughs) Yeah, for your cat girl. (laughs) (laughs) No. I'm sure she'd love it. Oh, Merry Christmas to my cat girl. That was three lifetimes ago. Yeah, that's, well, if she's a cat, definitely. (laughs) Yeah, she's She's, long gone. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah, we're on Fluffy 3. (laughs) Zing! Oh, my God. Oh, my God, I don't even remember where we were. Uh, But, yeah, the craftsmanship in a fursuit is amazing. Mm -hmm. Uh, Honestly, I would be interested in making one just to see if I could. Like, if I had infinite money and infinite time, I would make one just for fun. Yeah. Uh, But, yeah, I mean, a lot of people... Could you make me Sully from... uh, Is that his name? From Monsters, Inc.? Oh, probably. Wait, what's his name? Sully. Yeah, yeah, Sully. I could make you Sully. I'll be the Mike to your Sully. Yeah. Although, yeah. wouldn't it be more appropriate for you to be Mike? That's true. <laughs> We'd always have something in front of me. Yeah. You know, like a, Yeah, there you like go. That. Yeah. <laughs> you know, though, the original furry? The Disney Robin Hood. Oh, With yeah. The fox. the fox. I'm just saying... The reason that furries exist now is that movie. Wooda la la gala 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 wood a day or I'm whatever. I was saying when I was a little girl, I thought he was cute. Really? Oh, come oh, on. Oh, you know what? I th- come he was to think so of it, cute. Maid Marian was a hottie too. Right. Yeah. I mean, I feel weird and dirty saying it because it's like he's a fox. But like, <laughs> he's an animated fox. He's an anthropomorphized fox. So it's fine. This is this is exactly like the Wayne's World conversation. <laughs> Do you ever think Bugs Bunny is cute when he dresses up as a girl's bunny? <laughs> <laughs> and also, one thing I want to clear up, furries are not inherently sexual. Okay. And that was my next question was, is it a sex thing? So my very first introduction to furries was when I was in like probably sixth grade, something like that. I had stayed home, I had stayed home sick for the day and I was watching CSI and they did an episode where a furry got murdered during a furry con party thing. Oh no. And they were like going a down. Murder? A furder. <laughs> it's a furder. Yeah. Furder, she wrote. <clears throat> but yeah, and they were talking about like yiffing and fursuits and like their fursonas and stuff. And they were doing it like it was so diabolical, like this disgusting sex stuff. First off, most of them are really just like normal people who are just playing pretend and dressing up and who are like they're they're doing it so innocently. Yeah. Like there's no sexual component to it all, at all. They just really identify with this animal and- like to emulate it. And there are some. <laughs> there are some who do. <laughs> but wait, there's more. Yeah. But the vast majority of furries are doing it pretty innocently. Like, it, it's just a character that they're kind of dressing up as. So it's cosplay. Yeah. It's okay. just cosplay of an original character that they made up. All right. That being said, sometimes there are not appropriate places to wear your fur suits or your tails and ears and... Maybe you should try to pick up on the social cues by looking around and seeing how many other people are wearing those things. And if no one else is wearing those, maybe you should question whether or not it's appropriate for you to be wearing those. But isn't it, and I'm just asking, isn't it kind of half the fun to buck society's conventions and stand out in a crowd? Sure. Yeah, you're right. It is half the fun. And you have to accept that some people are going to cringe at it. The some only... people will just yuck your yum and there's nothing you can do about it, kid. Right. What was that con that we had here in Idaho Falls? Oh, Retro Expo. Retro Expo. I mm-hmm. saw a bunch of furries. Yeah. And then hackers are hackers. There, we broke it down for you. Mm-hmm. Because the local news won't. You're welcome. <laughs> Doing the Lord's work over here. <laughs> Talking about gay furry hackers, yeah. <laughs> giving everyone a crash course in furries from someone who is not a furry, by the way. I know, I I think I know a decent amount, but also if you are a furry, please correct me. I'm always, I'm always interested to learn. And if you're still anti-gay furry hackers, hackers who want the world full of cat girls, I completely feel you on that because I've been there and it's not fun. <laughs> <laughs> 